welcome back. I hope we rested. We've got our calculators and our pens and our pencils and our paper, and we're ready to do a couple more questions. We are? Good. Let's get going. So, ha, question, a sloth. A sloth is just, it's an animal from Australia and it moves very slowly. They have very long arms and their babies are just too cute for words, but they, but they move very slowly. They, they, they slow, okay? So it can get to a maximum velocity of 0, 0, 0,37 meters. A giant tortoise, now giant tortoises are those big tortoises, and they can live hundreds of years, okay? They live for a very long time can move at 0, 0, 0,076. So it's actually faster than a sloth, okay? So that's the information we're given. The first thing they say, if it takes the sloth 10 seconds to reach 0, 0, 0,037 meters per second, calculate the sloth's acceleration. We are assuming the sloth starts from zero and then it's going to start moving okay but very slowly okay so we know then that my whoop, whoopsie my initial velocity is going to be zero my final velocity is going to be naught comma naught three seven and my time is 10 seconds and I want acceleration so we know acceleration is change in velocity over change in time 0, 0,037 minus naught all divided by 10 seconds we take out our trusty calculator and we're going to go 0, 0, 0,37 divided by 10. And it just gets smaller. Now, my calculator has already put it, and I don't know why it disappeared. My calculator has already put it into scientific notation. You don't have to, but as soon as you get numbers where there's lots of noughts after, before the number in the decimal, or there's lots of noughts after the number, so it's a really big number, Scientific notation is actually much better because you're less likely to make a mistake when you write the answer down. When there's lots of noughts, sometimes just because of stress, you either write too few or you write too many and then the answer's wrong. So I'm going to keep it in that scientific notation. I'll show you what it is out of scientific notation in a second. So that's 3,7 times 10 to the minus 3 meters per second squared, but acceleration is a vector. That means I need to give it a direction, and we're going to assume that it's going forward. For those of you that didn't get it in scientific notation, this is what your answer would be, 0, 0,037. Both of those are correct. It doesn't matter, though we do prefer scientific notation, especially as we get to more complicated sums later on and when we look at different sections, scientific notation is just a bit easier and your calculators can do it for you. Our calculators are amazing. Right. So, our next question. A sloth moves a maximum, you know that. Um, of 0, 0, 037 meters per second, and we were using a time of 10 seconds, so that's not going to have changed. But I just needed to add something to this, is that it takes, it, the sloth takes 0, 0.85 meters for those 10 seconds, okay, to get to that maximum velocity. Now they want the sloth's average Velocity, and we remember that average velocity is change in displacement or distance over time. So 
the sloth takes 0.85 meters to get to that maximum velocity, and it takes it 10 seconds. Okay, so we take out our trusty calculators, who we like lots, and we go 0 0.85 divided by 10, and we get 0 0.85. And it's meters per second, so the average velocity of our sloth as it's getting to 0, 037 is 0, 0,085 meters per second. Okay, but it's a vector, which means I need a direction, and we're going to assume it's going forward really not so bad. So now we know a whole bunch of information about the sloth. Let's look at the tortoise. The tortoise is much faster, okay? So if it takes the tortoise only five seconds to reach 0, 0, 0.076 meters per second, they want the tortoise's acceleration. Well, final velocity is 0, 0, 0.76. Initial velocity is going to be zero. And the tortoise is much quicker. It only takes five seconds. Okay, so let's work out acceleration. We know how to do that now. Acceleration is change in velocity over change in time. So it's final minus initial divided by five. So let's just go 0, 0, 076 minus 0 is still 0, 0, 076 divided by five, Ooh, not minus, divide, divide by five. And we get 0, 0, 0.152. I'm just going to keep all of it. And just like before, acceleration is a vector, which means I need a direction, and the tortoise is going to go forward. OK, that's, that's not so bad. Now we want average, and actually that distance should be 0, 0,76 meters, okay? So now let's look. The next one says calculate the tortoise's average velocity, and we know, okay, that the tortoise moves 0, 0,19 meters. So average velocity, is change in displacement over change in time. He went 0, 0,19 meters. The tortoise did that in five seconds. So we take out our trusty calculators, who we like very much. Oopsie, 0, 0, 0, 0.19 divided by five gives me 0, 0, 3.8. So that was his average velocity. At some stages he worked faster than that, and other stages he walked slower than that, but that doesn't matter. That's his average. And of course it's still a vector, so we need to have direction. There we go. One last question. The sloth and the tortoise are now moving at their maximum. And then they say to you, how far will each animal move in 12 minutes? Okay, well, we all know, okay, we've done that velocity is displacement over time. So we're good. If I look at the sloth first, I'm going to call it an S, I would go 0, 0, 0,37 delta X 
Ah, but now there's a problem. The question says 12 minutes. We can't work in minutes. I have to convert that to seconds. So I'm going to have to go 12 times 60. Okay, so let's work that out. 12 times 60, 720. Please be careful. It's not a difficult question, but where do we end up losing marks that we forget that that needs to be in seconds? So this is 720. So to get delta x, I'm going to go naught, comma, naught, 37 times 720. Again, our trusty calculator, times 720. And we get 26,64 meters. That's very slow, but that's what we expect. And we would do the same with the tortoise, which we're going to do very quickly. He was going 0, 0, 0, 0, 6, also 720. And so that would be, because I'm about to run out of time, 0, 0, 0, 0.076 times 7, and whoopsie, times 720 equals 54,72 meters. And they only wanted that. They didn't need direction because they just said how far. So we are, we've done lots, and I hope it all makes sense. And that's the end of today's lesson. So I'll see you next time. Goodbye.